Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can set up your Google Pixel for the first time. So, the first thing you need to do is to uh, charge up your phone. Once the power is full, you can uh, using the side button here to uh, turn on your phone. So press and hold to turn on your phone. And once it's started, you can uh, tap on the next button here. And at this uh, point, you can uh, connect to a mobile network. So it will ask you to insert a SIM card. So you need to insert a SIM card in right here. So here we will insert a SIM card. And once we insert a SIM card, we can uh, either tap on skip or you can either tap on skip or next. So we go and search for a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to tap on CO Wi-Fi network. So it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi at the moment. Here I'll put in the Wi-Fi password. And tap on the connect button once you put in the password. It will now try to connect to the server and see if there is any update for this phone. So wait for the update. So it's so installing updates. So we wait for that. Okay, so at this point, um, you can copy and transfer the data over from your old devices. So here, you can see you can either tap on next or don't copy. So let's see what happens when we tap on next. So tap on next. It asks us to connect the cables to the phone and then to another device. So you need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn on or keep it unlocked. And then you can plug in the cables to, um, to uh, transfer the data over. So have one of your old phone turns on, whether it's a Samsung phone or another Android phone or an iPhone, uh, have them switch on and get ready. Next, we're gonna tap on the next button here. Next, and say find your old phone uh, cables. So either it's an iPhone, so depending on the type of phone that you have. So let's say for instance, we're gonna transfer um, an iPhone over. So I'm gonna plug that into the iPhone here. So this usually is the cable used for charging and then tap on next. So let's insert the cable into your old phone. So here I have to insert the cables into an iPhone and then tap on next. And then say connect the adapter and cables. So there is an adapter come with the Google uh, Pixel or the Pixel XL. So we connect that. And then from here you can see I've got an iPhone right here. I'm going to plug it in. There, so I'll plug it in and then tap on next. So we need to insert the adapter into the Google Pixel XL, like so. And then on the iPhone here, I just tap on trust and here I'll tap on next. So the transferring process can take a while depending on how big is your phone and how much. Uh, data you got on the device. Let's say if you got a lot of photos and other stuff, then you need to um, uh, wait for a while for the uh, transfer to, uh, to transfer for, to transfer all the data over. Now in here, you need to sign in so you can create a new Google account or you can use an assistant one. So here I'm going to use an old one that I have. So here it is, so we just going to put in the test account and I'll tap on next. And we need to put in the password to uh, sign in. So I'll put in the password and tap on next. So once you have uh, confirmed the login, tap on I agreed. And we now have uh, also successfully logged into Google account. And now it's checking for data. Now again, you can transfer data from an iPhone or from a Samsung phone if you've got one. So depending on which phone you have. And on the next screen, it will go through the iPhone and it checks to see what data is available for transfer. And from there, you can choose which uh, data you want to transfer over. So here you can see, uh, these are the things that I can transfer over. 
apps, calendar, call history, contacts, messages, music and audio, photos and videos. So select what you want to transfer. Let's say you don't want to transfer any apps or calendar, you can deselect them and then tap on next. And then here, uh, choose your apps. So your apps, I have got no apps at the moment. So uh, just tap on uh, copy and then tap on next. And on this screen here, it said you want to turn on a backup to Google Drive. So you can uh, go down here and uh, activate anything that you want to use or deactivate anything that you don't want to use. So if you want to turn on GPS location or not, you can turn them on or off. And so go down here, go down the list and then uh, choose what you want to uh, backup and then tap on accept. And on this uh, screen here, it said unlock with pixel imprint. So you can use the fingerprint to unlock your phone or approve purchases. So you can either set up fingerprint right here, right now, or you can skip. So I'll just tap on skip for now. And also here, you can also set up the, the lock screen. So you can set up the password so that when you turn off your phone and you turn it back on, uh, it will require you to put in the password to access the phone. So you can put in one, two, three, four, then tap on next. I need to put in the password again to confirm. And here on the next screen, continue with the setup. Uh, keep going to get your phone fully set up or leave now and get a reminder to finish later. So do you want to set up now with other things such as uh, Google Pay, Google Assistance, or you can uh, leave and uh, set up later. So I just leave and get a reminder later. So you don't really need to set them, set them up right now. So I'll just leave. And then we do need to review additional apps. So here are some of the apps that we can uh, allow to use on the phone. Do you want to install any of these apps or not? You can select or deselect them. And then tap on OK. And so your phone is almost ready. So I'm still copying over um, photos and videos as you can see. So I'm still syncing over and then tap on done. So it says get messages from iPhone user. Just tap on OK. And now it's say uh, adding the finish uh, touch. So you can see here while we are into the home screen and uh, if you drag down uh, the backup and other things still going on on the background so just leave it there for the backup and the restore uh, going on and that's it so that is how you can set up your phone to the home screen now if you um, once you sign into Google you should have uh, Gmail available already in there as well so that's Gmail so new in Gmail and got it and then here is the account that's already signed in. So if you want to sign into a different email account, you can do so. If you've got Gmail, you can sign into Gmail. So you just have on add another email address. And from here, you can either add in a Gmail, Yahoo account, or if you have any other email address, you can use the pub tray to uh, put in the username and password to sign into the different uh, email services. So that's the email setup. Uh, if you're using the same email, you can, um, with the account that you sign in, so you can use that email account if you want. You can simply tap on it to open it. So say so here, take me to Gmail, and then it will open up Gmail. And that's it. Now next is um, go on to settings. So you can go on to settings. You can see here it's still um, uh, asking you to finish the setup. So if you tap on that, let's see what else you have. It reminds you to do. So here we tap on the start. This is just a second. So it's checking for update, getting the account info. So it's basically it's just asking us to set up the fingerprint. Let's just skip that for now. And then it asks you to set up Google Assistant. So you don't need to set up right now if you don't want to. I'll just set up the home key. And that's it. So we got the, um, uh, the account set up on your phone. We got the um, Gmail uh, going. You got the emails going already. Uh, the camera should be all good to go. You can use the camera straight away. So tap on allowed. And that will allow you to use uh, the camera straight away already. And to use the internet, you need to um, open up the Chrome browser. So the Chrome browser already come down here as the default. 
in the navigation bar at the bottom here. So you can uh, tap on Google Chrome and tap on Accept and Continued. And then you can uh, sign in uh, if you want. So there's an account that I can use to sign in. And tap on OK, got it. And in here, you can uh, start to use um, your web browser. So here we can uh, tap on Facebook to go to Facebook, um, Yahoo, uh, YouTube. If you wanted to, you can tap on YouTube to start playing YouTube. Now, if we swipe up, this is the app screen. When you swipe up, you can see some of the default apps in here. We've got Photos, Maps, Gmail, uh, The Clock. Then you've got uh, YouTube down here, you've got Play Store. So um, after you installing set up your phone, you probably want to install some apps that you like. To install the apps, you tap on the Google Play Store right here. And because we already signed in, so we don't need to sign in anymore, uh, there is Google Play Store, you can start to install games. So here are some of the different tabs at the top you could choose, such as games, movies, and uh, TV. So we've got games up here, we've got uh, movies and TV, you got books, you got music down here. So we click on the home button, then you've got uh, different categories such as uh, top chats, categories, editor's choice, family and early access. Mm -hmm. And so you can choose one of the games that you want to play, or you can choose uh, to install uh, your phone companions, you've got uh, Reddit. So depending on what apps you like, you can simply uh, uh, type in here you search for an app so let's say we want you to install a uh, social media app uh, I'm going to tap on Facebook and then tap on install and it will start to download and then in here you can see they got it's got um, Facebook Messenger that you can tap on it so it's got a Facebook Messenger that you can also install or if you want to install um, Viber or WhatsApp we can install WhatsApp as well and tap on install so that's how you can install apps on your phone so once the app is installed it should go to the apps screen right here so we have to wait for it to finish first before we can uh, use it so still downloading so I said completing setup now another things you can do is um, dragging apps onto the home screen so if you swipe up and select the apps that you want to use for example, YouTube, you can tap and hold to that and then drag it out into the home screen. And from the home screen, you can easily access uh, those apps. Also, you can see here at the top, by default, it got the, um, the date and time and the weather widgets right here. So it shows you the weather for today and tomorrow or the next 10 days. So that's how you can use the weather widgets up here. So if you tap and hold into the home screen, you can see there is a shortcut or a pop-up uh, showing on the home screen here. So you can tap on widgets. And if you tap on widgets, there are the widgets that you can also uh, add to the home screen. So you've got the calendar widgets here. You've got schedules, Chrome widgets. You've got the clock widgets, uh, Drive. You've got also Gmail uh, widgets. You've got the Maps widgets, Google Play Music, Messages and other widgets so depending on what you want to use you can add it to the home screen so you can swipe across here to see more so let's say we want to add a um, schedule widget so you can just simply tap and hold and then drag it and drop it onto the home screen so this is the default home screen you can also swipe it across here to uh, drop the widget into a new home screen so and that will create another home screen as you can see here we have just created another home screen right there so that's how we can add widget to the home screen so this is uh, um, how you can organize your home screen you can also add some more so swipe up and add more stuff to it so here it is and from the home screen here you can also drag hold tap and hold and then drag it onto another uh, icon once you drag into the another app icon, it will create a folder, and from this folder, when you tap on it, it will allow you to choose um, different uh, app. You can also rename the folder. So I'm just gonna call this folder Google Apps, and there it is.
So now once your SIM card is uh, activated, you can tap on the phone app here to start uh, making calls. You can uh, tap on the keypad here to start dialing. So you can uh, start making phone call from here. You can also uh, tap on the messages icon to start messaging. So you can uh, I just dismiss that text for now. So you can tap on the plus icon to start composing. And from here you can put in the phone number. And or you can put on a uh, put in a contact name to start um, uh, a new uh, text. And then tap on the tick icon. And from here you can start putting the uh, uh, content and then you can send the SMS. So that's how you can send a text and making a phone call. So those are the basic of uh, setting up your phone and getting you, know, you ready to use your phone. Uh, there is a lot more to the phone you can do. And that's it. Just want to show you how you can set your phone and get it uh, going. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is uh, useful to you. And uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.